So I've been running back and forth from the uh, quarry and uh, from the, my own property with uh, loads of uh, rocks and, and gravel. And uh, I figured, well, hey, let's do a review on this trailer. I've owned this trailer. It's, uh, it's a K-Trail uh, Pro Series tri-axle, uh, 21,000 pound uh, limit. And I've had this since uh, March of 23. So I've had it uh, five months now. So I figured I'd do a quick review on it. Anyways, uh, I'll take a look at it. So it's a 16 foot, I get 16 foot, my last trailer was a tandem, two axles, 16 foot, because I want to use it to haul the Bobcat or the, uh, my tractor and 16 foot, the tractor is almost, almost 16 feet long. Um, so if I ever need to buy gravel at a customer for a customer, I've got that availability to bring one trailer. Uh, so basically I've had this since uh, March 23, uh, three axles. Uh, yeah, what can I say? I bought it at ML Trailers in uh, Borget, which is just east of Ottawa. Uh, the cost on this trailer was about $22,000. Uh, it came. I, I, don't wanna, I don't want people to hold me to the options that I got. They had it on the lot, and it had what it had. So I don't know what our options. I know the spare tire and the mounting bracket is an option. I know the 10-ply tires is an option because they come with eights. And I'm trying to think, was there any other options that I got that was on this trailer? And it wasn't like I ordered it. It's just the way they had it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. The uh, So basically, what do I like about this trailer? It tows great. Um, it doesn't bounce. Most bumper pull trailers I had before would bounce when it was empty. So it was annoying towing it. Uh, it's a six inch piston, three stage mast, like I said, 16 foot, uh, bed came with the tarp. Well, things I like about it. I haven't undone this yet, but it looks like they've built this so that you can remove it off the trailer if you don't need the tarp system. So that's kind of neat. Um, for loading, it's got the heavy duty jack, uh, for loading equipment. It came with, uh, ramps, which are located underneath the trailer at the back. I know the company at some point used to mount them on the sides because their ads has them on the sides, but mine are underneath. And the system they have to let them out is pretty, pretty neat. This here, you just drop this down and then you pull your ramp out. So that's pretty handy. I have not had any problems. I've used them a few times. I have not any problems with them. They work good. The angle's a little bit steep, but it's still, the skids here will drive forward up forward up on the trailer without any issues my tractor drives up on the trailer uh, stock they come with six D rings the D rings you're probably not gonna be able to see them now because I got gravel oh there's one right there they're the 18,000 pound D rings they're the heavy 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 ones so there's six of them two at the front two at the back two in the middle I had the dealer uh, bolt on two extras at about the two-thirds of the way markup which we can't see because I'm fully gravel right now. There's the other D-ring. So then the tarp, um, what else? It came with the uh, loading jacks. So you drop those jacks down when you're loading uh, equipment so that the trailer doesn't do a pop a wheelie or lift the back, back your truck off the ground. Uh, like I said, the 10-ply tires, three axle. They are galvanized rims, galvanized trailer. Uh, K-Trail, yep, that's their, they're based out of Quebec made in Quebec uh, so yeah it's got the LED lights um, really I don't have any real complaints about it that lifts oh I do have a complaint it lifts really slow but my last trailer was a scissor lift and scissor lifts cannot lift as much as the front uh, lift can but they're quicker so what I'll do is I'll do a quick video of me offloading this gravel and uh, you can uh, see the how it works but yeah in here you've got uh, came with the uh, hoist of course in this box uh, the battery it comes with a charger I've had to use the charger a few times because I uh, was dumping loads that I was gathering here and it wasn't uh, getting charged up enough but by driving it so after about the third dump I ran out of uh, out of juice 
you got your ups and down control here. This nice box. Yeah, basically, so that's it. The only thing I can, uh, it's a two and five sixteenths ball. The trailer's weighted for 21,000. Uh, my truck it can tow 18.6. So you could fit seven and a half tons of gravel on this trailer to be legal. But because I'm 18.6 towing, I can only load seven tons of gravel. So you've got about a thousand pounds on the tongue seven and the trailer weighs about 5200 pounds i believe i was going to say because my tandem weighed 46 47 and it was 14000 so you only had 93 or 94 payload this one is uh 52 so you've got four 15 8 payload which is about seven and a half tons roughly and uh, this one came galvanized. It's my first galvanized trailer um, because trailers don't usually last three or four years here in Canada with salt without needing a repaint. And galvanized isn't as nice looking. Once it's older, it starts to get really dull, but it doesn't rust and you never have to repaint it. So to me, it's well worth the galvanizing. Like I said, this one was came out to 22,000 the way it sits for me. Um, and uh, so I'm not sure the breakdown of the cost of the spare tire, the 10 ply wheels, the galvanizing. I think all the trailers at K-Trail are galvanized. I don't think you have that choice. So years ago, I wanted a trailer galvanized, but the galvanizing tank that was near the place because they didn't sell their trailers galvanized was too small. They couldn't dip it. But I guess uh, people have got that ability in Quebec. So anyways, let's get to dumping this. And uh, yeah. And see how well I can spread this.